So how can we tell which ionic compound has the highest lattice energy? So we're comparing magnesium oxide and sodium fluoride. Which one has the highest lattice energy? Before we can answer that question, we need to know what is lattice energy. Now lattice energy is the energy change that occurs when gaseous ions react to form a solid ionic compound. So let's take sodium chloride for example. So if we have the sodium cation in its gaseous state reacting with the chloride ion, and together they're producing sodium chloride as a solid, the energy that is released in this reaction is known as the lattice energy. Now lattice energy depends on the charge Q1, Q2, that's the charges of the ions, and it's also dependent on the distance between the ions. So as you increase the charge of the ion, the lattice energy will increase. And as you increase the distance between the ions, the lattice energy will decrease. So what does this mean? Ions with larger charge values have greater lattice energy values. And ionic compounds that contain ions that are large will have small lattice energy values. Whereas compounds that contain ions that are small will have large lattice energy values. So to summarize what I've just said, if you want to increase the lattice energy, you need to increase the charge and decrease the size of the ions. So let's look at our first example. Let's compare magnesium oxide with sodium fluoride. So which one do you think is going to have the highest lattice energy? Well, let's look at the ions that are found in this compound. Magnesium carries a plus two charge and oxygen carries a minus two charge. Sodium has a plus one charge and fluoride has a minus one charge. Now there's two things that we can consider, the charge and the sizes of the ions. The first thing I like to give priority is the charges. So let's see which compound has a higher product of Q1 times Q2. So Q1, the charge of the first ion is positive two and Q2, the charge of the second ion is negative two. So this gives us a value of negative four. Now for the second compound, if we multiply Q1 and Q2, it's going to be positive 1 times negative 1, so it's negative 1. So notice that the product of the charges in magnesium is 4 times as large than in sodium fluoride. So we should expect that magnesium oxide should have a much higher lattice energy than sodium fluoride. In fact, the magnesium oxide lattice energy value is negative 3800 kilojoules per mole. And for sodium fluoride, it's about negative 923 kilojoules per mole. Now notice what happens if we divide these two numbers. So if we take 3800 and divide it by 923, you should get 4.12. So the lattice energy of magnesium oxide is more than four times greater than sodium fluoride. So why is it a little bit more than four times larger? Well, for one thing, the magnesium plus two ion is smaller than the sodium plus ion. Now oxide is a little bit bigger than fluoride, but magnesium is a lot smaller than sodium compared to oxide and fluoride. To put that in perspective, magnesium is 65 picometers, that's the Mg plus 2 ion, and the size of the sodium cation is 95 picometers. So magnesium is a lot smaller than sodium. 
whereas the oxide ion, it's about 140 picometers, and fluoride is 136. So as you can see, these two, they don't really differ much in terms of size, but these two, they are significantly different. So because magnesium oxide has very high ionic charges, and also magnesium is a lot smaller than sodium, that's why the lattice energy of MgO is significantly larger than sodium fluoride. Now let's move on to our next example, part B. Which one is going to have a higher lattice energy, sodium fluoride or potassium chloride? Now sodium and potassium both have a plus one charge. Fluoride and chloride both contain a minus one charge. So the charges are the same for these two compounds. Therefore, the lattice energy of these two compounds should be very similar. Now the sizes of the ions are different. Potassium is a lot bigger than sodium as an ion. We said that the sodium ion was about 95 picometers and the potassium ion is 133. So sodium is smaller than potassium. If you decrease the size of the ions, the lattice energy will increase. Now fluoride is also smaller than chloride. Fluoride is 136 picometers and the ionic radius of chloride is a lot larger, 181. So because sodium fluoride contains smaller ions than potassium chloride, we should expect that sodium fluoride is going to have a higher lattice energy than potassium chloride. We said that sodium fluoride was negative 923 kilojoules per mole. Potassium chloride, on the other hand, is less. It's 715 kilojoules per mole. So as you can see, you need to look at two factors when determining which compound has a higher lattice energy. You need to look at the charge and also the ionic radius. You should look at the charge first. Always give the charge more priority than the sizes of the ions. If the charges are different, the one with the greatest lattice energy will be the one with the highest charges. Now if the charges are the same, then look at the sizes of the ions. As the ionic radii increases, the lattice energy will decrease. So if you're looking for the one with the greatest lattice energy, you need to look for the compound that contains the ions with the smallest radius. So you're looking for the ions with the highest charge and the smallest ionic radius. And that's how you could determine which compound has the highest lattice energy. Now let's work on this problem. Rank the following in order of increase in lattice energy, that is from least to most exothermic. So the first thing we should look at are the charges. Aluminum has a positive three charge. And oxygen has a minus two charge. So just by looking at that, we know that aluminum oxide should have the highest lattice energy. So I'm going to put that one last because that's going to be the greatest. It's the one that's most exothermic. Next, we have calcium and beryllium. Those two, they have a positive two charge. So now, because the charges between those two are the same, we need to see which ion is smaller. Beryllium is above calcium on a periodic table. The ionic size of calcium is 99 picometers, and the ionic radius of beryllium is 31. So calcium is significantly larger than beryllium. So therefore, we should expect that beryllium oxide should have a more exothermic lattice energy than calcium oxide, because beryllium is a lot smaller. 
I'm just going to write the numbers here. This is 99, this is 31. We'll talk about that later. Now let's consider the last two. Potassium iodide and lithium fluoride. Both potassium and lithium has a plus one charge. Iodide and fluoride has a minus one charge. So the charges are the same between those two. However, lithium is a lot smaller than potassium. The ionic radius of lithium is 60, and for potassium, it's 133. Iodide is a lot bigger than fluoride. For fluoride, the ionic radius is things like 136. And for iodide, I don't know what that value is, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot larger than 136. Ionic radius increases as you go down the group, and iodide is well below fluoride. So we should expect that lithium fluoride should have a higher lattice energy than potassium iodide, because lithium fluoride contains smaller ions than potassium iodide. Now, let's write the numbers associated with these values. The lattice energy for potassium iodide is 649. Now, it's negative because once these gaseous ions get together to form this ionic compound, a lot of energy is released. Lithium fluoride is 1036. Calcium oxide is 3400. Beryllium oxide is... 4,443, and aluminum oxide is almost 16,000. So the reason why this is significantly higher is because aluminum has a plus 3 charge. And plus, aluminum is uh, very, very small. I believe it's like uh, 50 picometers in terms of ionic radius. Beryllium is a lot smaller than calcium, as we can see. Calcium is almost three times as big as beryllium. So that's why there's a significant difference in the lattice energy between these two values, even though they have the same charge, plus two. Now, lithium fluoride is a lot more exothermic than potassium iodide, because as we said before, lithium is a lot smaller than potassium, and fluoride is significantly smaller than iodide. So now you know how to determine which compound has the greatest lattice energy. You're looking for the one with the highest charge and the smallest ionic radius.